Okay, this video is going to describe how to use the room functionality from uh, Orca Capture and then apply it into a PCB editor board file. So you may have placement areas that you want to kind of keep group components together inside the board. So the best way to do this is to actually apply property to the parts inside Capture. So what we can do is we can do a window select of all the parts. Um, we right mouse button on any one of them and then do a, an edit properties function. Let's go to the parts tab and then what we'll do is we'll add a new row here called room. Uh, and we'll add the new property and then it's just a matter of giving these values so let's just uh, give these all the same value of uh, memory or mem so this is going to be the name of the area inside PCB editor once we've done that we can then recreate the netlist, so we'll create the netlist and, and take this into, into PCB Editor. So you can see we've got a couple of other rooms inside this board already, but um, what I can do is I can go to the Setup menu and then Outlines and Room Outline, and you'll see that I've got a mem room that I need to go and create first. So I've got the Create option there. Now I've got different properties I can apply, whether they're on which side of the board that the room is actually going to be applied to, what sort of room properties there's kind of hard and soft to whether you actually the, 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 the tool DRC if you have components that don't have the property inside the room, etc. So I can either place a rectangle or a polygon, so let's just draw a rectangle, um, so let's just put my memory room roughly about there, you can see it takes on the property name, we'll say OK to that, and then when I use the place quick place function, I've got this option up here, place by room, I'm going to select the room memory or mem, hit place, and it then places all those components conveniently into my room on my board.